If you're within your filament PHP panel and you open the inspector and you go to your network tab and you hit refresh, you're going to see there's a lot of resources that are being pulled in in the background in order to serve the page. Well, if I clear out the inspector and I navigate to another page, you're going to see those resources get loaded indeed again. Well, what if I told you that Filament PHP actually has a solution for this? So let's switch over to our panel provider. And there is a SPA method that you can call, which essentially enables a single page application mode. So if we go back to our application and we refresh, on the initial load, we will go and fetch those resources. However, if I navigate to a, another location, you're going to see that we don't actually reload those resources because Filament in the background is caching these to where they can, they're can they fetched once and that way they can be reserved later. Well, if you have a form, as an example, as my patient, a create form, if I go to create a new patient, you're going to see it's going to load additional resources that it was going to take to in order to serve this specific form. However, again, if I clear out the inspector, let's say I navigate away, I come back, and I go back to create a new patient, you're going to see that it doesn't go back and refetch those uh, resources. And this is actually saving us a multitude of essentially HTTP calls. And what's pretty handy about uh, filaments, if you look at the documentation for SPA, uh, so they have the documentation to enable the mode. But then they also offer ways that you can disable SPA if there's specific uh, resources or endpoints that you wish not to have this mode enabled uh, upon. And then they even have a way that you can even do it with a URL uh, a wildcard path. And so this is the short and the simple of enabling SPA mode within your Filament PHP application. If you found value in this video, I encourage you to leave me a like. Uh, retweet the video, and leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.